Hi Libra, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 8, 2017. I also want to remind you that your videos for the month of May are up as well. And if you're enjoying these, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Also, I appreciate your comments. I know last week I was a little slack in replying to some of the comments, but I posted 25 videos, so I took a little bit of a YouTube break. Uh, if you're looking for a personal reading, please contact me on my website at www.ms-swami.com and you'll find a link to that below this video. You know, guys have cleared uh, retro and you're kind of on the end of an emotional cycle, uh, but you may want to slow down a little bit. It doesn't look like things are moving along or progressing like you would like to see a little bit of a standstill going on for some of you. Um, a lot of you overwhelmed at work, but hang tight. There's a good business deal there. And for whatever reason, Libra, I see you really tapping into your spiritual side of things this week. So good week to trust your intuition. So let's take a look. This is for Libra for the week of May 8th, 2017. Okay, Libra, we start with the Eight of Swords, followed by Major Arcana, the Hierophant, followed by the Moon. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups. So let me break this down for you guys. It also looks like you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people this week and fun times ahead. But we start with this Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords indicates, indicates self-imposed restrictions. Maybe taking some time for yourself. It's not so much that you don't want to move forward, but you're at a standstill for a reason. Looking at the hair font with the combination of the moon, and what I'm looking at there is decisions to, to be made. Uh, it's almost like I said, it's the end of an emotional cycle, but you're allowing for the new to develop. And with that, I have the moon. And the moon indicates a little bit of deception around you guys. Um, some of you, I want to go back um, to work. I don't want to necessarily say there's deception at work, but I am seeing you completely overwhelmed there. And like I said, this is a broad general video for all of you, but for whatever reason, I think the moon is associated with your work week. The page of pentacles indicates that financially you're pretty balanced there. And then we have that Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups indicates a celebration of some sorts, good times, getting out. And I see that here with the Page of Cups that also says you're getting out, you're having fun, you're living your life, you're very happy, things are going well for you. So the standstill that I'm seeing is kind of brief and passing. But we see it here again in the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands, okay? The High Priestess, this is indicating, guys, allow the new to come in, okay? Don't fight it, don't fight change, just let things happen. This is a good week for you kind of to be at a standstill, or kind of waiting for that world to revolve for new to come in. Ace of Cups indicates a new beginning. A lot of you, this is a new beginning in love. The time frame, summer. We're in spring now, so upcoming quickly for Libra. And the Seven of Wands. You haven't got through all of your obstacles yet, but you're overcoming them. You're taking them out one at a time, and things are going well. So your major arcanas for the week. We have that decision-making process and a little bit of a standstill. And the moon is where we're picking up some deception. And then we're looking at some more delays caused by the High Priestess. But overall, a good week for Libra. Just a good mild week ahead. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.